sitting at home. Looking for me the real news. Guess you can call us video girls. Welcome back. Um, if you guys haven't seen our latest video of this, the latest video or the previous video for this, since it will be the end of week one, um, we're playing Ancient Stone Tablets, which was the satellite view, which was a satellite view game. Um, I'm not gonna go into it much. Just check out the first the first video of week one, and you'll know what's going on. Um, this is week two now. And since I fixed all the files and whatnot, um, we have all of our saved progress from it from week one. So this is week two we're playing right now. Yeah. And um, yeah, so let's kick it off. Ignoring this will cause you to become a lost child. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go back to that again. Hey, look, this way up, Lost Woods warning, easy to become lost. Ignoring this notice will cause you to become a lost child. <laughs> Alright, well guess what? I'm ignoring it, because we're going forward. Guess what that means? We're gonna become lost children, aren't we? Mommy! Daddy! I need you! <laughs> I'm trying to okay. do that. You ever watch Mad TV? I can't go through there yet. Eh, I've watched it a couple times. You ever see I those- some, I thought some skits were- Good and others were like not so good. Did you ever see the um the one with kind of with, what with Stewart? Think about what? You ever see the one with Stewart? No. He's like he. I don't know. I'm not trying to make fun of him. Like I'm not trying to make fun of, of this concept or anything like that. But like the way he's like a weird like he Michael McDonald is the, the guy that um. That's, I don't know where to go. Michael McDonald is the one on um Saturday Night Live, not Saturday Night Live, Mad TV. He's one of the one of the cast members, and he played Stewart. He's um, like this like weirdly retarded kid, and I think I'm not sure, but I think he's autistic and as and he's playing an autistic child. But he's like really fucking like weird and shit. He's, like he doesn't like to be touched or anything like that. He doesn't like to be like um, what do you call it? Like he's just like a hyper kid, like like a kid would be, but like doesn't like to be touched and whatnot. And he's like. Mom! I forgot ah! I can run. Um, what were we talking about? What were we talking about before the before we were recording? Something about an anime? No. Oh, yeah. So we got a, a little bit of thing to talk about. I don't know why a fucking Italian guy is trying to teach us where to go, <laughs> but. If he's trying to look for pizza, I'm not going to give him any pizza, because Zelda doesn't eat pizza. Or, or Link doesn't eat pizza, or this girl does not eat pizza, she doesn't eat anything. <laughs> Are you saying she's anorexic? No, she's, you just don't pick up shit in the game and eat it. But, um, so, we were talking about, before this, we were talking about this show that we, we used to watch here and there a little bit. Not that we were, like, big fans of it, but we were talking about Ham Taro. It was one of the strangest, like, animes I've seen. Yeah. Never really, just... I never really cared for it. I mean, if you want strange animes... I watched it a couple of times, and that was it. I don't remember it being that much fun, though. No. But, um... It was cute, but it was, uh... That's all there was to it. Um, so what was, was I gonna... Everything was cute. So what was I gonna say? Oh, so I have some shit I need to talk about? Hey, there's the blacksmith. Um, first off, I want to talk about some gaming news, because that's more important to this channel than other news. Yeah. So, there's rumors going out now that this... I don't remember the name, but this I think her name's like Lydia or something. But, um, if you guys know who I'm talking about, after I explain what I'm talking oh, shit, about... The Zoras are coming out. Um, then you know that this could be 100% true. Or it could be 100%... Or it could be 90% true, or whatever you want to be. But this girl, Lydia, she's famous or for the, in the gaming community, if you don't... Um, she was the one that kind of, kind of quote-unquote, leaked out the information for the for the, what the NX was going to be. And she's the one that got it 100% correct. Hey, can I get that piece of heart? Oh, and yes, I can. Everything that she's saying so far... About the about the switch that we don't know about might be true, meaning that like the switch is probably gonna have like the like the um the port the portable um the tablet 
for the Switch. It's going to be like a 720p um, screen with the 6.2 display. And um, also, she's not confirming anything about like all the ports that are coming out because we have like rumors and c confirmed shit about like Splatoon coming out from that guy who data mined Splatoon and got all the found out all about the DLC that was coming out for it and stuff like that. Oh, damn. But, um, she is confirming that, or saying that, um, and this, this is the, this, I, I'm trusting this source because she's the one that, that, that's like the god of leaking shit for the, for the Switch, so she knows what she's talking about. Well, uh, if it's a female, I would say goddess. Goddess. Well, yeah. But, she's saying that, um, that there's a port for Smash Brothers coming out, since Sakurai, of course, does this whole thing where he says, you know what, that Melee is going to be my last game, and then he makes, a few years later, he makes Brawl, and then Brawl is going to be his last game, and then he made Smash 4, even though the work for Smash 4 was ridiculous compared to Brawl or Melee. So It was like the best character roster you could think of. Yes. So, for the Wii U, he worked his ass off, and of course... Now, he's not going to be making a, another Smash game for a long time now. Because even though it wasn't that long for Melee and Smash and Brawl to come out, like, in between the time frame, um, the amount of work that went into 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 um, Smash for Wii U, because he was making two different versions of the game, one for the 3DS and one for the, um, for the Wii U that were supposed to be the same game, technically. So he worked his ass off to get both of the games, and that that's all. That's like basically two Smash games in the same amount of time that it took to make a brawl. So he worked his fucking ass off day and night making that game. So there's not. I'm pretty sure there's no way in hell that he's gonna release a Smash game anytime soon. But what they're what they're saying is though that between six to eight months after the after the switch, the would you get a mysterious mushroom? Yeah, I, I don't know who would want it to... Oh, wait, yes I do, actually. Okay. So, um... What, Mario? <laughs> yes, I have to go meet up with Mario in this game. Well, that's that Italian-looking guy, I mean... You know... I don't think he'll be of any help. Alright, so... Anyway, so... Um, back to the Nintendo Switch. People... She's saying that there's going to be... Between six to eight months after the release of the of the Wii U, uh, not the Wii U, the Switch, Nintendo Switch, that there's going to be a port of Super Smash Brothers Wii U coming out for it, and it's gonna be, of course, gonna be the Wii U version because there's no way, there's like no chance in hell that that the port's gonna gonna be the 3DS version because you know the hardware supports it. I mean, it's more powerful than the, than the Wii U itself, and I don't see why they would they would they, they would downgrade to the 3DS version. But Smash Four in general is coming out for the for the Switch apparently, and she. I think this is where we need it to go. I think so. But um, she is saying now that um, that in that time frame when if the port d does come out because it's not uh, it's not confirmed yet by Nintendo, so we don't know if it's one hundred percent true. But I'm still counting it that, it, that it could, likely it could be it could be a thing that. When it does come out, that the that the um, cloud, she's only confirming that the cloud and the um, and the bayonet and amiibo are um, coming out at the same time. Be since or we already know that the um, bayonet and amiibo have already been worked on because um, Platinum Games has already um, announced that they were working on it. And they showed us like a glimpse of it, a teaser of it, so they already know that they're working on it. And they're trying all their hardest to get it out. And I think that they're just waiting for the... Like, because if they haven't already made, they can just make the production for it and keep producing as many Amiibo as they want. So they can, so they know that because once the Smash port comes out for the Switch, people are going to buy it because, you know, it's a Smash game. And, you know, people like people from Nintendo that are loyal to Nintendo or, or kind of, like, buy anything, really, that made, that's made by Nintendo. So they're going to buy the port. But... What she didn't say though, and people are ru rumoring or saying that it's gonna be a rumor, and that it might be a um, uh, what do you call it, a DX version, like um, a director's cut version, which will have all the DLC 
and it like 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 a, like a remaster, but it won't be a remaster because I don't think it will be a remaster because it's not it's not the same as like from like say because Bioshock got remastered and it got re released on the PS4. I don't believe that it's gonna be like that because the PS3 as a console as good of a console it was. The PS4, of course, was way, way, oh, way better graphically, and um, the Wii, the the Wii U going to the Switch is not going to be a big of a change. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna definitely be a lot better than the Wii U in terms of graphic, but it's not going to be like like PS4 graphics. So there's no, so it, there's no like real reason to make a remaster for the game, and Nintendo really doesn't go for remasters much with like Smash Bros. Your games or games like that. So Jeez, I think I don't know why a guy took a fucking million hits to kill. So this port, apparently people were saying though that if it comes out with a DLC, then you know what's the point of of buying the game again and then kind of come out with all the DLC because most people already have all the DLC or most of it, and yeah. so people were saying that they they could potentially turn it, turn this game into like a um into a a platform, which would be which would mean like they would just keep releasing DLC. Non-stop or whatever it is until they feel like they want to end the DLC for it until the next Smash Brothers game comes out. Meaning we could potentially get new characters or new stages or something. But all they're all they're saying that they're, that the room that there's going to be more DLC to the game to the port, and um, I kind of believe that that could be a thing because you know, like. I'm not I'm like I'm not gonna be the one to buy. I have Smash Brothers for the Wii U, and I don't play it as much anymore because I'm more a Project M fan. And yup. And um, if like if they don't add more characters to the game, there's no point for me to play because I already played all the characters. It's all the same game, nonstop, same thing every day. So um, there's that. Um, so comment below. Let me know what you think. Would you? Buy uh, the the Smash Wii U port for the Switch. Do you want it to have DLC? Do you want it to not have DLC? Let us know. Um, yeah, it really depends for me. Yeah, Game Explain did a did a, did a two part. Oh, I did. There's a door here. I didn't see that because that a fucking text was in the way. Game Explain did a two part video on this. If you don't know what Game Explain, they do all this kind of. Like, they're uh, basically like a news channel for video games. Yes, and they also, but they're mostly Nintendo affili affiliated yeah. more than they are with like PS4 or, or, or Xbox or whatnot. But I mean, they talk about them here and there, but mostly it's Nintendo related stuff. Yes. So they had it. They made a two part, and they make make discussion videos on like what they want to see, what they like, what they what they want for like different consoles or whatnot, what, what or what just random stuff that 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 might happen to different games and whatnot. And they made a discussion, a two-part discussion video, so it was broken up into two videos of what they think could happen to for deal for the um, Smash Brothers uh, we um, Switch port. And one of the interesting things is that I didn't tell Brandon yet. I'm going to talk about it on the show is that what they could possibly do is since the game is both. A home console and a handheld console at the same time. Oh, chest. And it has the boss key, so we're already about to head up to the boss. Nice. Um, so what they could do with, with, the, with the port, since it's both a ha home console and a handheld console, is they could add one specific character. <sighs> Can you guess what that is? Wait, what? They could, they could technically add one specific character to the game that we never got. And can you guess what it is? Peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you saw in that video, please check out our latest series to the left. I hope you enjoy it. Also, if you want more hilarious videos, please check out our other series down below. I'm sure you will enjoy that as well. And last but not least, please hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can provide. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.